as it turned out, my sister had lung cancer, and they had made no arrangements about what to do when she died. If you live in a bigger city and you join a temple, which they never did, then temples have their cemeteries, but they don't let perfect strangers go. I guess land is at a premium in Europe. There isn't that much of it. She could not be buried in Switzerland, where her daughter was. And so her daughter, my, my brother-in-law, by the way, had family in, in Israel, had had an, an aunt who had gone there years ago as a refugee and had two Sabra daughters who had then families, one of whom lived in a kibbutz for many years. The kibbutz now became a moshav because kibbutzim, I don't think, fare too well anymore. And uh, they have a cemetery, and my niece was able to negotiate to have my sister be buried in the cemetery of that moshav. My sister was in the hospital. I was going to visit her. I had a plane trip all planned. She died two days before I got there. And so when I got there, the, the arrangements were made. So what happens? First of all, my sister had to be prepared in the orthodox way in order to be eligible to go into that cemetery. And that was very interesting because people from an another town had to come and minister to her and and bathe her and wrap her and the you know and then and then the police had to come and inspect the uh, casket to make sure that it wasn't being filled with guns and ammunition and it was closed under the police's supervision and it could not go through any other country it had to go through from France directly to Israel. We all drove up to the Moshav, which was, it was interesting, by the way, that ride to see the wall. You know, I saw the, the wall right alongside this main highway. On one side, it was Jewish settlements and apartment houses. On the left side, they didn't look very different. But that was probably because they were close who knows what it was further out in the country. But it was shocking to see that wall. I was, it was sort of upsetting to think that the, that the Israelis wanted to do that. People say, you don't understand. You don't understand the danger. You don't understand what was going on. But I don't know. It's just too bad, you know. So the wall was sort of there. But when we got to the Moshav and to the cemetery, there was the casket. It was there. And so we had a lovely uh, barrier there. The, somebody said the Kaddish, and we all said things, read nice things about her, and I have pictures. And then uh, as it turns out, we went back to Jerusalem, and we stayed another day or two, and I enjoyed going to the old city and uh, walking around. And then the following year, I went back to Israel with my niece, and we went to the, 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 the group, the Moshav, had created a garden right around her. So it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful little cemetery, very small. The, the, the graves are separate, they are flowers. They had created a lovely plaque with my sister's name. It was just delightful.